Boomerang on! Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about Kidder Mask Series 2. Series 2 has some really interesting features in these vehicles. They're kind of cool, they're kind of fun. A lot of these kind of get confused like hey maybe they're series one but no series two was exciting it was the 1986 year for kinner mask we're going to talk about all of these coming up now first off i did already do series one and boulder hill in separate videos i'll link those down below so check those out all right, we're going to get into the first one, which is Firefly. Firefly is kind of a fun race car. Oh, it's described as a dune buggy, but I always look at it as a fun kind of a race car. It also has Julio Lopez in there, and his mask is Streamer. So there's a good look at the mask. We can pull that bad boy off there, and there's his face. Hey, look at that mustache. Let's look at the vehicle. Now overall, it's kind of a fun dune buggy just the way it is. Uh, and it looks cool. Lots of stickers all over it. Uh, just lots lots of fun. For a lower price, lower end toy for the time, it did its job. It was fun. Yeah, I do see the dune buggy aspect of it. I still feel like it's more like a race car kind of deal. But what you do with this here is so much fun. Pop the wings open and it kind of flies. Now, Vortec copied this almost exactly, but had absolutely no uh, mechanisms with it. You also open this up to reveal a gun, and and, and it's it's fun. Uh, the the fun is the converting of this back and forth over and over. And here it is from the bottom. So, uh, real simplistic, more or less, just basically a spring and uh, uh, another spring loaded clip there to hold it in place but you do have one more feature we're about to look at you pull this other lever and you drop a bomb so next on the list we have the hurricane or also called the night stalker and this is a 57 chevy comes with hondo mclean and his helmet is the blaster too so the thing about this one is uh, he's he's actually heavily featured in the promotion. So in the intro, you see this mask, you see him, and it's like they planned to melt down his his truck and and give us this later on. There's his face sculpt. It looks pretty good. Uh, interesting looking figure. Actually, they did make this figure. Uh, in the European version, and so we've got multiple different colors, and, and he also, it's the same suit, just repainted different colors, and these go with some of the other ones, I don't know which ones of the suits they go with, I just know I've picked some extra colored ones up over the years, and I think it's kind of interesting to have all the different variations. So now at first glance, this vehicle looks very simple, it's just like a it's just a nice little 57 Chevy that's got some flames painted on it. It's got some really shiny rims. Uh, it's got a spare tire because if you break down, you've got to have a spare tire. A spare tire is nowhere near as thick as these tires. But it does look just very simple and plain. And this might be one of the simplest ones. No, it's not. It has quite a few features and quite a few gimmicks. Uh, a lot going on. First feature, you would turn this and it would pop up. And once you lift this up, now you expose this gun and this, this gun. And so that's kind of interesting there, the way that works. Also, let's straighten some stuff out. You can pull forward this gun and this gun and lift up on the grill. And you've got more action stuff going on. Now, this piece is actually going to be held in place a little bit better once you put him in his foot pegs. Now, I guess you could put two figures up here or spread his legs a bit and put one peg in each foot. Now, here he is in full on attack mode. Now, you're gonna notice that he's got his gun here, this double gun right there. Uh, there's some stickers on the back there. And then you can also see stickers on the inside of the cockpit there. So 
I don't even remember because uh, I didn't have this new. Uh, I don't know if you put those inside stickers on yourself or not. So, but uh, I think this thing has all of the stickers. It's in pretty good shape. A lot of the tires, they have issues. Uh, so this one's got pretty good tires. So a couple of things to look at. Now, when you get to the back, there's a couple more things. You can pull this piece out. So look at all of the features on this guy. It's kind of crazy. And then you can launch this. I don't know if you have you have to have that pushed in to launch the missile. Yeah, that's fun. And of course, this is probably the hardest piece to get for this set, aside from the actual mask or or this double gun here. But really, it's kind of a cool vehicle. So next up, we're gonna have the Raven. The Raven is probably my favorite vehicle out of all of this series just because it's a Corvette and it looks cool. But it is a Corvette C4. It comes with Calhoun Burns and it's got the Gulliver mask. So uh, some of this stuff I actually don't remember so much, but you can open it up, you see the figure and I thought I had another figure. Uh, I guess we can try to pop the mask off and get a good look at his face. Well, the seatbelt came undone. So it does come with seatbelts. So it came with seatbelts just like Thunderhawk, but here he is, and you can have a good look at this figure. Uh, pretty interesting looking guy. Uh, I just remember when I was a kid, I actually had this one as a kid. It's kind of weird, like I only had one or two uh, out of this series as a kid, uh, but I, I really liked it, so it, it's kind of cool. Maybe I had three, three, four, I don't know. Anyway, I didn't have them all. It was one of those things where mask, there was just so much coming out so fast, it was hard to get them all as a kid. So another issue though, it's it's so tight and compact, it's hard to get the uh, figure back in there. It takes quite a bit of work to get them in there to be able to close the door. So with a little time, effort, and patience, you gotta bend his knees to get him fit, and with some time and effort, you can get his seatbelt buckled back up. So let's get him, now that he's safely in there, let's get ready for this transformation. But looking at it real quick, you do have some, I, I, I think that's just painted on like tampographed. I don't think those are stickers, and I don't know if they make reproduction stickers for this, so if it's missing the paint, it's just missing the paint, I guess. So, first thing it does, I like this back piece here. It pops up, you got kind of jet engines. You don't have to transform it, you could just be like, we're racing, and I've got that boost of a jet engine, and I'm gonna win. And that's, I did that a lot with this guy, I thought this was really cool, but it doesn't end there. You can actually fold the wheels, and it could be like the DeLorean in Back to the Future 2, but this was, of course, uh, years before Back to the Future 2. Back to the Future 2 came out in the 90s, early 90s, and this was 1986. Then one more feature is you push this button on the side, and it will flip around, and then you have these guns exposed. Uh, you can still do a couple more things with it. You're supposed to fold the wings down, the doors down. It's a reverse goal wing. Uh, very impractical, like how do you get in this thing? Do you step on the door to get in? That's crazy. And you have these pieces that pop up. Now, I kind of think these pieces double as uh, they could be kind of like something that would cut your tire or something if you're just driving, but uh, still kind of cool. You do have those pieces on the back tires also. So interesting right there. And I believe this is a vehicle that goes on water. That's kind of the whole point of it, like a boat. But yes, this definitely does not float. One more fun feature with this guy is shooting this saw blade out. And the way that works is you pull this handle on the back. You pull it back and you let it go. Here's I'm having technical difficulties. But there it goes. And real quick, here's the European color variation. Comes with one of these adventure packs. A lot of fun. I'm about to get into that in a future video, I hope. Ace Riker, former test pilot, ancestry, Cherokee Indian with knowledge of Old West. Vehicle code name, Slingshot. Next up we have Slingshot. Now this is an RV type of vehicle. Uh, when I look at it, I think like, this is a minivan, but you know, they call it an RV. Uh, it's To me, it's not really big enough to be like a Winnebago kind of RV or anything like that, but it, I look at it as a minivan, but anyway, that's that's the way it is. Now, there's a few things about this. We're going to get into the driver. I've got him inside. We have to pop it open to get the driver out, so we'll show him here in a bit. 
but I want to show this. When you push this button on the back, it pops it open. And you have the jet inside. Now, the jet wings usually do not hold closed. Uh, so when we get to that, I'll show you kind of what I'm doing. I'm cheating with the rubber band right here to keep everything to work properly. But once you're inside, you kind of see it's like a command center in here. And there's, there's like, oh, what's going on? There's all these uh, computer monitors, stickers and computer monitors and things like that in the command center. And you have a pretty cool jet and it's, it does a little bit of stuff. But it, it, this thing actually does even more. You push this other button right here and it pops it up. And so those two buttons really control the mechanism. And as you roll, you you mess up your picture. Oh, you uh, it moves around. So this kind of kind of a cool concept right there. You push this forward for some more guns, and you can have this man this with a bunch of different figures. However, you want to set that up, and it's. It's a bit of a control center and a place for a lot of figures. Next thing we want to talk about is unhooking this jet. And now when you unhook the jet, the wings pop off. Now, one of the problems with this is that this button down here kind of wears out. And this button is what would keep this held together. And it's just, I think that it needs more space in there or something. I'm, I'm not sure. So I've never taken one apart to mess with it but I, I might have to sometime. Anyway, the jet itself is pretty cool and it has a bomb dropping mechanism with it. So, so that is quite interesting. So the figure is Ace Riker with his ricochet mask and pull the mask off and you can kind of see, let's get that face in there. It's a, it's a kind of a, to me, he's just kind of a boring kind of dude with a jacket. But anyway, when you're used to some of these crazy designs and costumes and he's just a dude with a jacket jeans and a jacket or something but it's kind of cool because I've, I've i've got another one i've had both these for a long time and i actually had to look up which one was the right color scheme and so this one is a variant for whatever reason i don't know but i do know that this is the european variant which i know that because it was kind of expensive uh, to track it down but uh having fun with the european recolor variants uh, i used to just pass on them but I think it's kind of fun to have different color variants, especially with this vehicle, because you can have each of these manning a station. So closing all this back up real quick, uh, before we do that, I'm going to show you the couple of other stickers that you have on a control panel here and a couple of them on the side. And rolling this around, you're going to expose the grill and you want to line the grill up. I guess I overextended it, which I'm sure everyone does that stuff. Then you want to get this lined up and we're going to put the jet engine back on there. Now this is where I cheat with the rubber band and uh, plug that in. Once you fold this down, it's supposed to push the wings in and it does a little bit, but not enough to completely close this. Uh, when you close this back up, this piece pops back out. So uh, I'll show that one more time real quick, which is something like, uh, there it pops right back out. But yeah, I didn't really know that at first, and so after messing with it a lot, I'm like, okay. So with the wings fixed on the jet, this thing works right. You're going to need a really wide lens for Volcano. It's a pretty good sized vehicle. This is, this is what I think of like a quintessential monster truck to just drive over all kinds of cars and stuff. But this is an all-terrain van, and it comes with Matt Tracker and Jaquez Lafleur, and they have the lava mask and the Mirage mass so we're gonna look at the figures once we pop this thing open but the the big gimmick on this is that it's electronic it rides by itself it's it's like a giant stomper that converts and for that it's quintessentially the 80s mobile it's nice uh it's cool it's big you got these uh adjustable exhaust which strains that they're right there and they exhaust right into the window of the driver that doesn't seem like it would be healthy but anyhow you've got lots of chrome all over this bad boy it looks nice now looking at the bottom you can see the controls you have uh you push it back to turn it on and then down is attack and up is normal we're gonna leave it an attack but we're gonna see what exactly this does when you turn it on So that's kind of how it works uh, when it's rolling. Okay, so I'll see if I can get some more like wide open footage of this thing rolling, but the biggest problem with this is 
the whole way this top piece is set up. This harness piece doesn't really hold him down well. Uh, he doesn't fit in there well. It pops off. He flies out when it pops up. This gun is interesting, but you need to fold it out. And a lot of this stuff, you're going to have to kind of like, once it's automatically transformed, you're going to have to fix it. Now the sunroof does kind of pop open on its own, but you're going to have to go in here and push these guns out on your own to uh, extend those guns. And this, this is fun. It does what it's supposed to do, but when it throws the figure out the way it just did, uh, it, well, the way it always does, uh, that's kind of a pain. Uh, you can lose the masks and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of parts can get lost on this, especially the, the rail and the gun. They just get lost because this rail barely hangs on. And it's it's almost like, let's get a better close up. It's almost like he's he's gonna go on a roller coaster and they put the roller coaster safety bar down. That's just weird and crazy, but this does flip around here. Uh, this vehicle is one of the harder ones to kind of handle and get pictures of. So let's go ahead and pull the figures out and let's have a look at them. So this is Matt Tracker and Jaquez LaFleur. I think that uh, this is the third costume or outfit or get up that we've seen Matt Tracker in. It looks like he's got his hand kind of positioned to where is, is that his uh, calm like oh uh, let's talk to someone or is he going to be holding on to something as he drives. Uh, interesting pose they put him in there so and that's the only figure I've seen him that kind of looks like that. Then we have this guy here. Now he does have some variations and I again I don't even know why he has three variations so this is the one that comes with the figure, or with the vehicle. And then there's these other two color variations. They're, I guess they're both European color variations and one goes with some sort of an action set. And I'll have more information on those once I get them, of course, and I can show all that. But still, it's kind of fun, kind of a fun uh, figure, kind of a fun set. Uh, this volcano is, is kind of hard to control sometimes, but still, it's a lot of fun and it's automatic. So in order to convert this thing back, you're gonna need to push these guns back in. And then uh, one of the things I do is I, I just kind of push it down like so. I've seen people push on this and that might be the correct way to go. Uh, I might've been doing it wrong all these years then close the sunroof up. Now, I don't think the sunroof is supposed to close. It's supposed to look like it's kind of got like a partial moonroof open. So maybe that's the way it's supposed to go. But uh, when you switch it to the manual, you should be able to pop it using this bar back here. I just don't want to go through all that again. But that bar pops it when you switch this lever from normal attack to normal. That's what this bar is for. So uh, a lot of fun, a cool vehicle. Actually, I was kind of surprised it has as much gimmicks as it did. Next on the list, we have Outlaw, and this guy is huge. This is an oil tanker, there's no doubting that. And it comes with Miles Mayhem, Nash Gory, with the Python and the Powerhouse masks. And it comes with a ton of accessories. So let's just kind of get right into what this does. Now, looking at the outside, it rolls. It's got a big old sticker with a snake on it. Like, it almost could have be Cobra. Uh, I like the back metalized chrome stuff that's all over this thing. Uh, up here, the sides, the front, um, moving this thing around. The other side, of course, looks just like the front, except you have this little lever right here, so we're going to get into that here in just a bit. And I guess we can open it from this side, so it'll be a lot of fun here. Now, when you open it up, it opens up, and it shows off this. So one thing is, the way it's designed, it actually opens up, and it makes the gun pop up. Now, this gun can rotate and fire and stuff, but we'll let's fully convert this before we do anything else. Now, you push this button here, and it would pop up the inside piece. Uh, I guess fold that forward first, fold that flap down. This thing is huge, it's gonna be hard to get it all on camera. This pops up and it, it does work around. It shows the figures in there, and then I've got some variation figures manning this part, and then you notice right here, a ton just a ton of parts that come with this thing. And tracking down the parts is always uh, a pain. Uh, I would say, oh, it's a lot of fun. No, it is definitely a pain. So getting all the parts out of here and these figures out of here, let's take a look at some of the features 
that we're going to see with this uh, back up just a bit. Now, usually it's going to be laying down like that, and you're going to have this uh, side piece, side compartment pop out, and it will show that display screen, and then you can toss maybe a figure in here, and a figure can man this, and so that it's like a playset almost. Like this thing is just so big and there's so much going on, it's like a playset. Now let's flip it around to the other side. We do the same thing here where you kind of open it up and you reveal a workspace, a workstation like that. And and that's kind of cool right there. It, it gets the job done. And then you have a few other things. Now if you don't want to put a figure in there, there's a hole for you to plug this in right there so this piece here is the uh satellite kind of piece uh this is the satellite kind of piece right there and uh, i don't know i like i never understood all these like all these parts seem like they were just trying to cram parts in just to cram parts in let's show you what else they can do so way up top here we have these uh it's like a control room you can put your figures in there you can put up the four figures with four pegs and uh, stand them up there like they're doing some work so again a lot like a playset uh, there's a the stickers in there just make it look like it, it, a cool little uh, room that they're they're doing some stuff they're really putting some work in they're, they're, they're conniving a scheme you also get these sort of satellite antenna pieces with it so again it's like a playset and you could do a lot with it, but it doesn't really make sense the way it transforms, though, to, to become like a tower of a, of a workstation. And we got a lot of stuff going on here in the front, and uh, really, you've got room for two figures in here, and you have both of the figures. We can pull them out of there, and we're going to have a look at them next. And then you can shoot this, and... So this, this seems like it could be a lot of fun, but it, it, it's also kind of frustrating, frustrating. Uh, you got to roll it back up into this and then try to clip it back in. And so it is kind of like a nice grappling hook kind of deal. You can shoot it out. You can catch some people, catch the bad guys with it and stuff. But uh, interesting right there. And before we get into all of the figures and variations and stuff, there's one last thing where you have this computer module and you plug your red rubber hose so this red hose is pretty hard to come by uh, this hose plugs into one of the holes here and then a hole here and you can kind of connect it to your power station or whatever uh, I don't really know what they were thinking there's, there's some weird stuff in this vehicle and I don't know why they went so crazy out on that and this cannon, it does come with two missiles. And so, like for me personally, if I had one, I only had one missile, I'd be happy. I don't wouldn't need to chase down a second one. I only have a second one because I got it in a part slot or something. But it shoots really far. It's pretty strong. That's a super strong spring. For the figures, we have the Nash Gory and the Miles Mayhem. And I think the Nash Gory helmet is called Powerhouse and then... We have Python for uh, Venom, uh, for Mayhem. But uh, this is, the green one's the one that comes with a vehicle. I think his mask is just awesome. It just makes him look awesome. It's like, what? What'd you call me? <laughs> and then this guy here is uh, the European version. Looks just like him. And there they go. And it looks the Miles Mayhem. And... There he is with his mask, and his mask is kind of weird. It's like uh, the the it only goes down all the way down his back, and it's kind of a short mask on the front. And this is a different costume, different uh, than what I've seen him with before, I believe. I don't think it matched the other one. But uh, here's the European color variation, and I actually think the European color variation looks way more interesting and a lot more fun. All right, let's get this beast closed back up. We're gonna disconnect these this hose and you gotta be real careful with the hose and let's put some parts and pieces back away. And we're going to push this down. It'll click into place. We're gonna fold this back up and that will work just fine. We're gonna take off 
Uh, you're not really seeing it, but we're going to take these pieces off and lay them in here. And we have another bomb shot across the room. I'll put it in there later. This piece here disconnects and lays in here. Uh, I don't see a reason to take that apart. You can fold this down. Push these pieces in and fold it down. And close her up. And it's back to an oil tanker. I'll take care of them. Next up, we've got Stinger. Stinger is a muscle car from back in the day. It's a Pontiac GTO, but uh, I always feel like it's a, like an old Camaro. Comes with Bruno Shepard with a Magna Beam uh, helmet mask, and it looks cool. This is uh, the first vehicle I ever, or anything, that I ordered from a catalog when I was a kid, and I thought my mom was going to buy it for me. Then when it was time to pick it up, she says, where's your 18 bucks? I'm like, what? So it has quite a bit going for it. Now, this is the era of, I don't think those are stickers. I just think that's paint. Um, I had one. I don't remember putting stickers on it when it was brand new. So uh, anyhow, it's got a lot of chrome up front. Uh, it's missing a sticker. Now, I know you got to put those stickers on. Uh, it's interesting that the air intake is movable. You can move it around for whatever you want to move it around for. Uh, you do have these. Now, you saw these on the Raven. So, uh, on the other vehicle earlier, on the bottom, you can see all the mechanisms. So, it's really, really kind of cool from the back. They have just a, like a cartoon-esque uh, painted windshield or back shield, the back window. You do have a spoiler, a nice purple spoiler, chrome bumper, M-Dog. He's Mad Dog on his license plate so let's get into what this thing does and then we'll look at the figure once we've done all that pull this forward and it does everything like really that is what you do with this now it pulls this up and keep that forward now this does have a bit of a resemblance they, they sort of copied some of the engineering for vortex when they did this but they, I think this does it better than what Vortec does. And the hood doesn't fall off and get lost like with a Vortec line. Now, you can pull up these uh, exhausts to make guns. Now, this chrome exhaust, first off, they're hard to find. Second off, they're usually not chrome once you find them. Uh, that's crazy. Now, you open up this back to reveal what should be like a giant gun that goes in the windshield, a windshield gun. I know I've got one somewhere, which is why I haven't gone out of the way to buy another one, especially with crazy prices these days. But uh, I can't find it. I've been looking. I still can't find it. You've got this gripping claw so you can just go out and maybe uh, grip onto someone like so. And so that's interesting right there. Like I can't get away. Oh, well, yeah, I got away. So this chain easily breaks. Like I've seen so many broken chains. It's not funny, and then I, I'm sure the gripping claw feels really delicate. That would break easy. Also, this back uh, trunk, that's easy for that. It was like kind of a hatchback. It's easy for that to break also. But all in all, pretty cool. Now, if you want to go through the trouble of popping all of these up, and you have all of these little sensors and stuff, there are wheels on this. It does roll, so this does have wheels. So it's a rolling mechanism on it. Now, I got to say... People love this vehicle, and I have a bit of a, a, a love-hate relationship with it because I had it uh, as a kid, and it was that whole melt order thing. But now my love-hate relationship is I can't find that one part that I know I have somewhere, but uh, whatever. Anyway, let's look at the figures. So this is Bruno Shepard, and he has his Magna Beam mask, and he's tough, mean, he's got a tattoo, a lot of cool stuff. Here is his... Doppelganger from Across the Pond, the European version, and the big difference between the two of these is the just the teal jumpsuit. They're molded exactly the same, and the, the hair's a little bit different color, but I think in this case, the US one is way more interesting. I think it looks a lot better, but I like the mask, so like, like maybe I'll just go around and this will be my Bruno Shepard. <laughs> I like that. See, and look how the European mask matches the, the the colors that were already painted on the US version. Really interesting. Uh, I kind of like that. I just noticed how his tattoos all rubbed off. So I have like five of these Bruno figures. I'm going to go through and pick the one that has the best tattoo, I guess. <laughs> now, in order to convert this thing back, you want to fold these down. Fold all your little uh, mini guns or, or tire 
scrapers down. You'll want to fold this in, fold this down, and then push this back. It's really key to have everything back in place before you put the hood slid back into place. Then he's back into that signature 70s GTO. Last but not least, uh, well, least in price, he was probably the cheapest, is Vampire. Now, this is a fun, cool vehicle. Of course, I have a story about this one, too. Comes with Floyd Malloy and his buckshot helmet. It's a touring cycle. But this is the cheap one like Condor. Like Condor was cheap, was really common. But this one here as Series 2, when it came out, I actually saw a buddy of mine on the playground that had it. He brought it for show and tell, then he brought it out on the playground or whatever. And it was my first time getting to handle it. I knew I had to have one. As a kid, I finally got one. I tracked one down. I had to have it, just seeing what it did. I was like, this is way cooler than Condor's sorry helicopter. <laughs> uh, but uh, it... it is really cool. I, I still like Condor a lot, but I like this. Now, when you push the button, it pops out like this, but it doesn't fully transform. Like, it transforms sort of the way. You got to put the rest of the wings down, and now you got a jet. Now, instead of a helicopter, you have an actual jet. Now, this is really cool. I like this, and I liked everything about it. The chrome. Uh, I wish those were chrome when I was a kid, but I was like, I guess I can live with it. But for the cheap, cheap price point, I think they did a really good job on this. I, I, I was always intrigued with how it worked. It just seemed like so much is going on with this vehicle when at the same exact time, and you push one button to make it all just happen. Well, I guess I showed you by mistake how the missiles launch. Missiles launch through friction. When you push it, it's released through friction. So that I always thought that was kind of like the weak point of the vehicle. So, um, but putting it back into its mode, and let's go ahead and take the figure out when we put it back in. We push this back piece in, and it basically just locks everything in place. We close all that back up, and we have the vehicle again. Now, let's look at Floyd Loy here. Now, this character, I believe, uh, I gotta freshen up on it. He has another vehicle down the road. Well, I know he does, um, but he looks way different in it, and... Uh, I don't know if they reuse the head sculpt on that one or not because it has a different mask But the figure just looks really like he's cool. I thought this was one of the coolest looking figures uh, I like this weird looking thing. He has on his shoulder and The mask is adjusted to where it'll fly it over that weird looking thing on his shoulder So that is really cool and his hair goes through the mask like that. I just thought this this was so cool. There was so many really cool things about this for the one of the cheaper toys at the time. I absolutely loved this guy, and I have several of them today. I still love this guy. But hey, it's not over yet. There's something else cool. And I knew I had to get the European version because it just is that cool. And it has all the same interesting gimmicks where the hair goes through the helmet. You have this side piece there. Just really awesome. But at the end of the day... I don't think that the European version color would look good with the red motorcycle. I think the black jumpsuit fits the red motorcycle way better. But yeah, this is an awesome vehicle. Vampire, a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this look at Kenner Mask 1986 Series 2. Every vehicle made in Series 2. I'm going to take a little time, try to make sure I have everything for Series 3. Before I make a Series 3 video, I have all my other videos I've made for Mask down in the comments below or in the description below. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Hyderium Hanger out. Too bad Venom got away, but at least Mask saved Jesse James' lost gold.